Hi, I'm Kristen Hammergren. I'm a teaching artist with Victory Gardens, and today we're gonna do a vocal warm up. This um, requires just your body and your voice and a little bit of space if you have it. You can also modify it to being seated if that's required. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna start with is our breathing. This is called elemental breathing. So we have fire, earth, air, water, and each of those has a movement and an inhale or an exhale with them. So uh, first thing we do is fire. We inhale and we squat. And then we exhale earth and we round our body. Then we inhale up air and we exhale water. I'm gonna do that now standing, but just know that um, you go down and squat and then up. So here we go, fire, earth, air, water, and inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. And really try to take on the quality of that element in each breath, in each movement. So fire, earth grounded, air floating up, and water dripping down. Great. Repeat that as much as you want. And now let's warm up our faces. So I got you a present. Um, special occasion, I got you a box of candy. So here's your box. And um, I've got my own box right here. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Ooh, let's try this yellow one. Mmm, that's lemon, it's sour. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, get rid of that. Okay, ooh, what about this red one? Let's see. Oh, it's spicy. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, ooh, here's a nice piece of taffy. Mmm, mmm, it's like my mouth is stuck together. Mmm, 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 mmm. Get your tongue. Mmm. Mm. All right, finish that. All right. And, uh, oh, wait, what is that? Oh, somebody put your least favorite kind of candy in here. Mm, maybe it'll taste better this time. Let's try it. Mmm. Blech. 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 Ugh. Okay, oh, get it out. Someone put your favorite candy in the box. Oh, what are the chances? What's your favorite candy? Mine is Reese's Pieces. I'm gonna put some Reese's Pieces. Mmm, oh, yay, nice big smile, mmm, yum. Oh, let's finish out with a nice piece of gum. All right, here we go. Mmm, big chews, mmm. And blow a bubble. Oh, it pops all over your face. Oh, wipe it off, wipe it off. Oh, great, okay, put your candy box away for another day. And now let's get into making some sound. So this uses um, some characters from The Wizard of Oz, which you may or may not be familiar with. It doesn't matter either way. Uh, we're gonna start by putting our hands on our head. Just make a little sound, kind of like a tea kettle to start. Ooh, ooh. Go ahead. All right, and now we're gonna be munchkins. We're gonna put our hands up and we're gonna say, follow the yellow brick road. So do that with me. Follow the yellow brick road. Excellent. Now we're gonna go into our eyes here. We're gonna be Dorothy. We're gonna say, run, Toto, run. One more time with me. Run, Toto, run. Great, and now we're gonna go into our nose and we're gonna be the Wicked Witch of the West and we're gonna say, I'll get you, my pretty. Great, one more time with me. I'll get you, my pretty. Get those witch fingers going. And now let's get into our chest. We'll be the great and powerful Oz, and we'll say, I am the great and powerful Oz. One more time with me. I am the great and powerful Oz. Wonderful, and now let's go down into our bellies. We'll be the cowardly lion here, and we'll say, put him up, put him up. One more time with me. I'll put them up, I'll put them up. Great, so now let's go from bottom to top. Here we are, the lion. Put them up, put them up. One more time. I'll put them up, put them up. And now we're the wizard. I am the great and powerful Oz. One more time. I am the great and powerful Oz. 
and be witchy, get your witch fingers going. I'll get you, my pretty. One more time. I'll get you, my pretty. And back to Dorothy. Run, Toto, run. One more time. Run, Toto, run. And back to Munchkin land. Here we go. Follow the yellow brick road. One more time. Follow the yellow brick road. Great, and you can repeat as you want. You can also use these voices as you're exploring text. Maybe you have one line from a character that you want to um, try out in the different uh, voices, see if one suits them or part of one suits them. So you'll notice that we moved from top to bottom, bottom to top, and we use our physicality to create different sounds. So we call that the resonance ladder. So we were resonating, vibrating sound from the top of our head, from kind of our forehead mask, from our nose, from our chest, and from our belly. And it's great because our bodies function like one really flexible instrument. And you notice how like a cello is shaped differently from a trumpet, which is shaped very differently from a clarinet. And they all have different sounds that they make. So we're manipulating our body just like an instrument to make different sounds. So I hope your voice is feeling great and you're ready to go with whatever theater activity comes next for you. Take care.